Hello, this is Samuel with this week's Physics Focus and today I am going to do quite a short session running through a way of remembering a mnemonic for equations to do with electricity. Now I'm talking about the kind of equations like for example voltage is current times resistance or maybe uh, voltage is energy per unit charge, joules per coulomb, that kind of thing. There are a number of three-letter equations like these in electricity that you need to know and that with which you can solve any pretty much any kind of electricity equation, certainly at A-levels. Uh, kind of standard. Now up till now you may have been trying to memorize all of these one by one. I'm going to show you a method which if you learn it you will never have to memorize a single one of these equations ever again. Now this is absolutely brilliant and I will say in all honesty I didn't come up with this. I learned this from my physics teacher when I was at secondary school, when I was um, 13 or 14 or so, I can't remember exactly. So, Mr. Stint, if you're out there, this is a credit to you. Excellent physics teacher, and uh, we had you for far too short a time. But this is one of your legacies as far as I'm concerned. And it goes like this. It's a bit of a sad story, I'm afraid, so have your handkerchiefs ready. And what you have to remember is this. Can Jane very well afford chocolate since James went? Alas, very, that V there, rarely. Okay, I'll write that up in just a moment. Can Jane very well afford chocolate since James went? New line, alas, very rarely. So it's zigzagging through. And what we have here is, if I join them up like this, into triangles, this makes up five formula pyramids for these three-letter equations. I'm assuming at this stage that you know what a formula pyramid is and how to use one. And the letters here stand for not the symbols that you tend to use in the equations, I'm afraid these are the units, the units of the quantities. So C is Coulombs, J is joules, V is volts, W is watts, A is amps, C is coulombs again, S is seconds, J joules, W watts, A amps, that V, we've already got that one in, that's volts, and R is the only one that is not the unit because it's a little bit difficult to fit to find an English word starting with omega. So R stands for resistance. So, using this, let's pick an example. Uh, let's say this one here. So if I want to know the number of coulombs passing a particular point, I look at this formula pyramid. I want the number of coulombs, so cover over the C. What's left in the formula pyramid? A times S. So coulombs, charge, in other words, equals A, that's amps, so that's current, times S for seconds, that's time. 
Q equals IT. So you've got that equation straight away out of this formula pyramid. And you can do that for any of these five. And also, of course, you can combine them. So, for example, here we have um, power, watts, is volts, times amps. But amps are coulombs per second, charge over time. So you can put those together with a little bit of algebra. Power is volts times charge over time, etc. And you can build up more complicated equations simply by putting them together with a little bit of very basic algebra. Now, to go back to the sentence you need to remember then, the centre of the whole thing here, can Jane very well afford chocolate, sorry, spell that right, since James went. Capital letters there for the different units, new line, alas, uh, very rarely. Now I warned you it was a sad story. So, memorize that, and you'll never again need to remember these three letter equations. I used this through all of my exams, GCSE and AS level exams. One of the first things I did whenever I met a, an electricity equation, a question, was to find somewhere at the back of the exam paper, a bit of blank space, and simply write out this zigzag mnemonic, CJV, WAC, SJW, etc. And using that, and since then, I have never bothered to remember any of these equations. Don't need to. Never will. Hope you enjoy that. If you have any comments, please uh, leave a comment on my webpage, www.thephysicsfocus.co.uk. Let me know what you think. Or if you have a topic you'd like to see me cover or a suggestion for a future video, drop me a line. The link's in the email that I send to you. And I shall see what I can fit in. So thanks for listening. Bye for now.